We have hunters come from all over the nation to the Outfitting Lodge, where the guides work day in and day out to help clients with the deer of their dreams. But sometimes, after a week in the blind, it doesn't work out. Day five, last day. As an outfitter, it's stressful, but in the big woods, there's always hope, even on the last day. We all search for it. Some of us work our entire lives to get there, hoping to get that one chance at the deer of a lifetime. And no matter how hard we work, many never will. But we learn along the way that all that work is what we love, what drives the pursuit. We pass on what we know to our children to give birth to their own search and hope with all that preparation and dedication, and sometimes some luck that someday, someday we'll be handed the keys that open a door to a land where legends live. Right when I saw him, I'm like, oh my god, I want him. It's a heavy, crazy cold here. Extra stickers. Probably the biggest deer I've ever killed. That's pretty neat with those flyers on the front. <laughs> Just an absolutely fantastic deer. He's a gorgeous deer. There's no way a guy could ask for any more. Stealth Cam presents Dean Partridge's Canadian Whitetail. Brought to you by Ozonics, undetectable, undeniable. Monster Meal, attract, nourish, retain. Excalibur Crossbow, different for a reason. Heater Body Suit, number one in cold weather hunting gear. New archery products, hunt with confidence. Bog, engineered for the unknown. Hoyman, your land, your legacy. Muddy, Serious gear for serious hunters. Glendell 3D Targets, the biggest and toughest 3D targets in the world. Nocturnal lighted knocks, switch on accuracy, and let it glow. Boyd's Hardwood Gun Stocks, better with Boyd's. Raculator, score your trophy fast, easy, and accurate. Old timer knives, built for generations. And by Stealth Cam, proven reliability, proven quality, proven performance. On this week's episode, we're heading north with Ryan Varnum of Bog Hunting to hunt at our Canadian Whitetail Outfitters Lodge. And we're also going to share how the day-to-day -day activities of our guides and our hunters may vary greatly, but it's all working towards the same goal of a big old buck on the ground. A typical start for our hunters like Ryan are boarding a plane headed north to Saskatchewan, en route to the frozen land famed with big whitetails. While our guides start the same day loading up to head out through the expanse of northern forest that the planes simply fly over. And while Ryan picks up his luggage and his rifle to prepare for his trip's final leg, our guides are preparing as well, brushing in blinds, making sure things are just right. And while Ryan clears the city lights in his rental, the guides are clearing shooting lanes. And while our hunters are on their last few miles to camp, guides are doing the last few preparations, topping up the monster meal. And checking stealth cams to know where the bucks are to ensure that they're in the right spots. We made it. It's 108 after some off-roading and uh, bumpy snowy roads. We made it. And at almost the same time, the guides are back out at the parking spot to pick up hunters on their gear to haul into the lodge. Once arriving and unpacking, Ryan takes his rifle out for a few shots to ensure that everything stayed lined up through his trip. Okay. 
With everything ready, it's time to retire for the night, stay warm, have a hot meal, tell a few stories, and wonder what day one might bring. identical he's got a bit bigger brows he's got a split on his g2 okay so either one of those comes in well, hopefully they both get them. <laughs> that's right <laughs> that's the plan and, all right good to know and anything else can do we can walk through so okay eyes open and blow your own judgments all right all right sounds good this segment is brought to you by hoyman and the new no slip h grip on their full line of tools Best in class tools for every application. Hoyman, your land, your legacy. This segment of Canadian Whitetail has been brought to you by Bog. More than just a shooting rest. Bog, engineered for the unknown. With day one here, guides make sure that Ryan's in the blind and ready and set the stage before heading out to check on some of our 50 other stands. Hoping to see. We've got two big guys that, uh, that we're kind of tracking after. One's got a broken right brow and then the uh, another one's got a split G2. So we're hoping one, if not both of those, come, uh, come try and buy. A heater bodysuit, a must for all day sits in this climate, will keep Ryan warm and comfortable as day begins to break and he starts his wait for the target buck. The target buck last year was a tight rack 10 that had busted up and been on the safe list, but this year he grew substantially, mile high tines browsed the match and a split G2, he was definitely now one handsome deer. That we had actually filmed once weeks earlier with another hunter while not getting a shot, this was the only sighting in the past two years. Early into Ryan's sit, the deer began to move, appearing in the forest from seemingly thin air. On day two, the sun rose over a change in venue. Though we seldom move, guides checking cameras had the information that Ryan should, and he settled in for day two in a new blind. Again, deer movement was early with lots of young bucks, the legends of tomorrow. As the sun sets on day two, they plan to return for day three.
Day 3 brought a bit larger buck, but overall a slow sit. But with two days left, Ryan still had time. This segment of Canadian Whitetail is brought to you by Nocturnal Lighted Knox. Nocturnal Lighted Knox, string activated, simple, switch on accuracy and let it glow. Canadian Whitetail is also brought to you by Central Boiler Outdoor Furnaces, the ultimate wood heat, Black Eagle Arrows, advanced carbon technology, Tinks, makers of the finest deer lures and scents, Tacticam, share your hunt. Wild Edge, makers of the stepladder. Cyclops, get out of the dark. Stierka Optics, we see things differently. Elite Archery, the world's most shootable bow. And by Scott Archery. This segment has been brought to you by the Heater Body Suit. The Heater Body Suit is the ultimate cold weather hunting garment that allows you to stay on stand longer and sit comfortably. The Heater Body Suit. You stay warm or your money back. After a morning meeting and with info from the stealth cams, it's decided that Ryan would move back to the original spot for the last two days. Just being able to watch these animals is reward enough. Day four passes without the big split G2 buck. Day five, last day. It's uh, as, as Dean would say, it's a little more Saskatchewan out here feeling. A little colder, it's currently zero degrees Fahrenheit. Nine, negative 19 Celsius, so deer should definitely be moving. Um, still going after those two, the one with the split G2 and the broken right brow tie. Like I said, it's, it's colder, so they should be moving better. We should be seeing them. We saw a lot of deer yesterday. Nothing big enough for us to uh, really want to go after, but uh, today's the day. Feeling good, not feeling good. We're going to make this happen. Though not every hunter will always tag out as an outfitter, the last day is always tense. In the end, our goal is always just for our hunters to have the experience they hoped for, the experience they dreamed of. Today, while snugged into his heater bodysuit, his ozonics running, and on the last day, things were about to pay off fast. Deer coming. From the left side. Right at first light, it was a split G2 buck. There's good reason this is only the second sighting of the buck and the buck gets nervous and turns to leave. Stopping to look back with a tree covering his vitals. Yeah, he's gonna have to move a little bit. I, I don't have a shot, there's a tree in front of him right now. All right, you got him good there. Yeah. Meep, meep, meep. Welcome to this week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment. Locate, learn, set up, hunt. Brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. One of the biggest topics in the Whitetail Woods always seems to be scent control. And a lot of people are surprised to find out that we're not that concerned about scent control other than on stand. We don't tend to pre-wash our hunting clothes and store them in rubber totes. Rather, we use our clothing like you would any other clothing. We just keep it clean, keep it dry, and be smart about what you're doing. 
So we're just gonna try to keep foreign smells off of those hunting clothes wherever possible. For example, if we're gonna stop and get fuel on the way to go hunting, I'm not gonna wear my hunting coat or my pants, just I don't wanna risk getting diesel fuel on them, which is gonna cause a big problem when we walk in and out of our stand. At the end of our hunt, we'll store our clothes in a dry wash bag and run the ozonics unit to clean any foreign smells out of that clothing, and then we're good for the next hunt. And while we're on stand, I'm not too worried about scent because we use an ozonics unit every time. We found that that's the best defense against any scent issues. You know, the, the clothings and the, the soaps that you can use, they'll all help maybe to some degree, but there's contaminants the second you step out of your truck, the second you put them on, and then you've got your human smell that's coming off of you consistently. Another precaution we often take that we recommend is when you get out of your truck to spray your legs and your boots down with a scent killing spray. And we do that because we don't want to trail from our vehicle into that stand. So if a deer crosses that trail at any point, they don't alarm to us. When we're on stand, we're running our Zonics, we've got no issues there. But we still have our trail from a vehicle to our stand. I don't want to drag any scent that's on my boots or on my pant legs through the brush there and have a deer that might slip in there, detect it and bust our night. Making sure you don't create a scent trail to and from your stand and also making sure that you don't have a scent stream coming from your stand while you're there can make a big difference on the outcome of your hunt. This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Share your own muddy moment. This segment brought to you by AAE. Innovation and integrity is in our blood. Quality and dependability is in our products. After five days in the frozen north, Ryan's target buck had made an appearance, though not offering a shot. But the next few steps the buck takes change everything. Dude. <laughs> Monster dude. Oh my god. So so we came in. Sorry, I'm I'm screaming right now. We got in, came across in front of us, and uh whew, a little shaky. Uh he stopped in front of us and there was a tree right right in right in front of his shoulder. And I was like crap. So we waited and waited and waited. I had the shot as he was still walking and I took it and down he go, we, we saw him run off a little bit, then we just heard this crash, like a freaking tree drop. Oh, we got him. We got him. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Oh, whew. Are you starting to wonder if there's really a big one here? I was. I don't blame you. <laughs> Awesome. He's got some time on it, eh? Yeah. This guy, man, he's got some tall brows. I'm really glad, really glad it was this guy. He's, he's a big boy. With the buck tagged and back to the shack, it's time in the lodge for more stories, bragging rights, and the fellowship that bonds all hunters. Well, congratulations, Ryan, on an absolutely fantastic whitetail, a deer that we'd hunted all season long with several clients. In the end, it often just comes up to the luck of the draw, and this year, Ryan came up aces. And congratulations to our guides who share in the excitement and the pride in accomplishing the goal of a big old target buck headed back to the skidding shack. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Canadian Whitetail. This segment has been brought to you by Wild Edge and the ultimate climbing system, the Step Ladder. Safely design your climb in any tree, anywhere, with the most versatile, lightweight, and compact climbing system, the Step Ladder. 
To book your own dream hunt in northern Saskatchewan, please contact us at Canadian Whitetail Outfitters. Canadian Whitetail has also been brought to you by these fine sponsors. For exclusive content, follow Dean and the team on Facebook, as well as on Instagram and Twitter, at Whitetail Dean. To view all past and present episodes of Canadian Whitetail, as well as new original content, visit us on our YouTube and Carbon TV channels. For Canadian Whitetail gear and apparel, visit CanadianWhitetailTV.com. Thank <laughs> you.